Hey guys, welcome back for another video. In today's video, we are going to look at the OnePlus Bud Z White. So I switched over to the OnePlus Buds from my existing Bote 225 high base earphones. Uh, although I was happy with those as well, but the main reason that I switched over to the Buds was one that, you know, when you go out for a walk or a jog, those keep falling out from your ear. At least that happened for me. Uh, and the other issue was that, you know, when you're moving around, the wire tend to get stuck. Uh, and in my case, uh, eventually it got stuck in a piece of furniture and came apart at one point. So I ended up switching to the OnePlus Part C. Uh, these are extremely light. They fit well in the ears. They have a good uh, battery capacity. Um, sound quality, um, are they the best earphones I've ever had? Definitely not. In fact, I would say the uh, Bote 225 wired earphones that I had before this uh, had a much more impressive sound quality. But nonetheless, at the price that which um, these are being sold at, I would say at that price, these are the best truly wireless birds that you can find. Uh, one thing that I always suggest is do try out the different attachments uh, that you get with the birds because uh, these attachments determine how well uh, you know the buds fit in your ear and that in turn determines um, the quality of the sound to some extent because the better it fits uh, the less sound escapes outside and the less noise from outside you hear so definitely once I changed over uh, to these uh, to these attachments from what came as the default I experienced much better sound quality that I did before. Now one thing that impressed me the most was the capacity, battery capacity. They came charged out of the box. I didn't have to charge them to use it. And that charge lasted me almost a month with a sparing uh, amount of usage where I used it for about 15 to 30 minutes uh, once every two days. And I didn't have to charge these for a month. Um, and the great part about these wireless birds is that you can keep the charging box or the storing box charged and the moment you put the earphones uh, back into the box, the earphones start charging. Um, when the earphones are placed into the box, the LED indicates the charge on the earphones themselves. When you take them out of the box, the LED indicates the charge of the charging box. Now, when you take it out of the box, for OnePlus phones, uh, they are in pairing mode soon as you open up the box but for other android phones like mine you need to have uh, the buds in the box and you need to press the quick setup button for two seconds to get them into the pairing mode after which they should be available in the list of available devices in your bluetooth settings uh, the type c charging cable is included as well now there are some touch functions um, that you can use by tapping or pressing on uh, the touch area. You can um, touch it for two seconds to end or receive calls. You can press it for three seconds to switch over to the last connected Bluetooth device. If you have a OnePlus phone, there are a few additional features available like activating the voice assistant, as well as there's a Find My Bud feature using which if you, know, you end up uh, losing one of the buds, you can use uh, the Find feature but that's only available on the OnePlus phones as of now. Um, the instruction manual includes pretty much everything that you need to know to operate and use these buds. Overall, in terms of convenience and features, I'm quite happy with these, but in terms of sound quality, um, there's a long way to go, I would say. Um, and if you're used to using wired earphones, you're gonna feel something lacking in terms of the sound quality, but the host of features more than make up for it. Especially, I love the feature where if you take one of the birds out of your ears while the music is playing, it automatically pause, uh, pauses the music. And when you put it back in, it restarts the music from where you left off. So that, in my opinion, is a great feature um, that you don't get on wired earphones today. So. Overall, if you're looking to buy um, truly wireless buds and uh, you have a budget 
of around uh, two to four thousand rupees i think these are a great buy of course you can get uh, buds with much better sound quality but those are i would say very premium priced and uh, not everyone would want to go in for those let me know your experience of using truly wireless earphones or any kind of earphones that you've been using um, whether you've been enjoying those or you're looking to buy something new do let me know in the comments below um, do share your feedback as well do subscribe to the channel and thank you for watching